In the first criminal trial with a former American president as the defendant, a national spectacle that divided the nation, both sides have rested their case. I got MAGA hats for beta males. As prosecutors wrapped up closing arguments on Tuesday, Donald Trump's supporters and some high-profile critics once again gathered outside the courtroom. We'd forgotten the lessons of history that showed us other clowns who weren't taken seriously until they became vicious dictators. With Trump, we have a second chance, and no one is laughing now. This is the time to stop him. Prosecutors argued that Trump conspired with employees and a tabloid publisher to cheat voters by paying off adult film star Stormy Daniels to keep her from disclosing a 2006 affair with Trump on the eve of the 2016 presidential election. Trump, who sat with a handwritten note reading this case should be dismissed, argues the trial is a political hit job. They should have brought this case seven years ago, not in the middle of my presidential election, where I'm leading by a lot, Biden, by a lot. They brought it right in the middle of the election. Prosecutors presented Cohen's bank statement showing the $130,000 he wired to Stormy Daniels' lawyer on October 27, 2016, just 12 days before the election. The handwritten notes, Cohen testified, detailed $50,000 in other expenses and his reimbursement scheme, double what he paid out to account for income taxes. He said the payments made in $35,000 installments and signed by Trump were disguised as legal fees, but Trump's lawyers argued he did nothing wrong. They said the payments made through Trump's then-lawyer Michael Cohen were legitimate legal fees and that Cohen lied about the payments and Trump's affair with Daniel which Daniels herself confirmed in intimate detail. Whatever the outcome, some historians say the trial could correct a historic mistake, President Gerald Ford's 1974 pardon of Richard Nixon. It has the potential to say, yes, the most powerful people are held to the legal system just like the rest of us. Whether Trump will become the first former president found guilty of criminal conduct as he seeks to return to the White House is now up to a New York jury to decide. John Hendren, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.